it is time. So we would like to begin Cyber Agents FY 2023 second quarter earnings briefing. This session is being live streamed. Please refer to the disclosure within the earnings document with respect to the content we will share with you today. Our CEO, Fujita, will take us through the performance of this quarter. I will take you through the second quarter financial results. This quarter, the first quarter, we had the World Cup, and we had transient uh, increase in cost. But this is the second quarter, so we have gone back to normal. In terms of sales, we hit a new record high this quarter. And with respect to the Umamu submitted a big hit, we have been able to rack up our performance. And with respect to media, World Cup significantly changed the situation, so Abema's losses significantly improved. And with respect to ads, uh, it has made pr steady or healthy progress this quarter. And with respect to the games, uh, we saw strong performance due to the anniversaries of major games. This is the consolidated sales. Uma Musume, we celebrated the second anniversary this year. And as you can see, so we, it was a social phenomenon, and we saw a huge peak in sales two years ago. And every time we have a great game hit, we, it, it tends to gradually come down. And we were a little bit um, worried, but uh, we have continued to mark steady performance. With respect, respect to the consolidated OP, so in the first quarter, we had a one-off uh, impact. So if we take that away, we have gone back to our healthy levels once again in the second quarter. This is the SGNA expenses. So we used ample advertising costs as well and increased the number of personnel. In April this year, we welcomed 449 new graduates. To, and so we are now more than 7,000 in terms of headcount. This is the PL. And here is the balance sheet. There's no major changes here either. With respect to the FY 2023 forecast, our OP is a range of 40 to 50 billion yen. In the first quarter, as I mentioned, repeated already, we had one off uh, increase in costs due to the World Cup. So we were off to a slow start. However, afterwards, we have remained on track. So we, have, uh, we are on track in terms of our performance since the first quarter. The internet app business has been healthy, progressing healthily, and we have marked a new record high sales this quarter. And this is the profits. With respect to the internet app business, we have been investing in new areas, numerous new areas, so we have been incurring more costs, so that is why you see the trends here with respect to op operating profit. And we are investing in new areas. DX and AI are the major categories. And we are doing reskilling re and chat GPT as well. So we are leading the market in investing in these areas, trying to find new business opportunities.
And this is the game business. In the second quarter, we have many anniversaries every, sec every quarter or every second quarter. So it's the same trends that we're seeing over the last couple of years. But the second quarter, we tend to see a good quarter um, every year. So our, our sales are on par with the same quarter previous year. And OP as well is trending, as you can see here. Of all of the major titles that we have, six major titles <laughs> celebrated their anniversary this second quarter. So the situation was very favorable. Especially Uma Musume and Grand Blue Fantasy, those two, uh, these two events were very successful. And 2023, we are going to be releasing these titles. We have Final Fantasy and Jesus Kaisen. And it is on par with our expectations right now. So I have great expectations for these two new titles. This is a media business. Overall, it has continued to trend upwards and continue to grow. The OP, operating loss, has improved drastically this quarter. <laughs> Thanks to the World Cup, this is the ABEMA sales and ABEMA and related businesses. But um, the conditions are very favorable to us. Thanks to the World Cup. This is a number of downloads. We've hit 96 million downloads now. We're celebrating our seventh uh, anniversary this year. And we're not going to show the slide um, going forward because it's going to continue to trend upwards. But uh, we have achieved this many downloads so far. On the anniversary of our, uh, uh, on the occasion of our anniversary, and also WAE is WAU is also uh, doing very well as well. It is 1.5 times higher than uh, the previous year, and it is trending upward, continuing to trend upward as well, with the. This streaming of the World Cup, we have won AMD awards as well as other t different awards as well. And so Abema's situation uh, has changed significantly, have beco has become favorable thanks to the World Cup. The users have started to watch Abema. They see us differently now. And the advertising advertisers as well they want to be on our platform, advertise on our platform. And we have celebrities and stars who want to appear in our content as well. So after the World Cup, we are seeing a great influx of uh, fantastic content. So we believe that uh, overall, the World Cup has been a great success. This is what Abema aspires to become. So. There are many different live streaming services available nowadays, but we want to become a TV for the future. So it needs to be free. We believe that it's important to be free. Um, there aren't many competitors who are available for free, so we want to make our service available to anyone. And it's TV, so we want to have sports, shogi, mahjong as well. We, it's important that we're, we have live streaming of these events. And whether it's drama or anime, we want to make sure that people are watching these content at the same time. And we want to offer the latest news as well. We want to continue to offer new content. And, and we've, I've said this repeatedly, but we want to free everyone from the constraints of time or place. We want people to be able to watch it on, uh, on demand on any device. And we believe that this has been communicated well to a wide audience thanks to the World Cup. And with respect to the media business win tickets, 
it's only been about a year, uh, three years since we began, but we currently have about 40% of the overall shares. So we have actually demonstrated our strength in watch and bet, but we also have Abema as well, so we can live stream the content. And we have the technology, UI ability to develop UI and UX as well, to develop new ser great services and marketing as well. We believe that um, we are stronger in the marketing area than any other company. So those are some of the key strengths that have contributed to this uh, outcome. This is a mid to long term strategy that I mention every time. So media and ads are generating a healthy level of our uh, advertising and games are generating a healthy level of performance. And, and while, we're, while it's doing that, we want to invest in the media business. And Abema started in 2015, or 16, sorry. So we started in 2016 with Abema. But during this investment period, we're already approaching the latter half of the investment period. And we have started to monetize the service. So we have entered the monetization phase for Abema already. That's it for myself. Thank you very much. We would like to conclude Cyber Agents FY 2023 second quarter earnings briefing. If you have any questions, please contact the IR team. Thank you very much for joining us today.